Hello guys, back on the Al Rast and I'm channel, and this time I will be back to continue the Soul Land 2 storyline from part 1 yesterday. In this part, we will talk about how Tang Yao and Bei Bei asked Yao to become a student at Shriek Academy, which now looks very luxurious and modern. And okay, what is Hu Yao's journey inside the Academy? Let's get right to the story. Here, Yu Hao also followed the two seniors to the city of Shrek. Because in it, there is the best academy in the world, namely Shrek Academy, where the city's civilization now looks more prosperous and modern. And it turns out that the surprise gift that Tang Ya promised Yu Hao yesterday was a quota to enter Shrek Academy specifically for Yu Hao. Because Tang San was a Tang sect ancestor who graduated from Shriek Academy. Even when the Tang sect was founded, almost all Shrek Academy graduates joined the Tang sect. Even though the Tang sect isn't as strong now as it used to be, Shriek Academy still gives me an exclusion quota for the Tang sect every year. And now the quota has been given specifically to Yuho. Baby also explained that Academy Shrek will hold a new student assessment every three months, and anyone who fails to pass the assessment will be immediately expelled from the Academy. Yuho was determined to do his best not to be kicked out. It was also here that Tangya gave storage-type soul tools as a gift to Yuho for agreeing to join the Tang sect. And the belt-shaped tool serves to store various items, and these items have been made for 25 months by the first leader, Tang Shan. After that, Tang Ya took Yu Hao to Shrek Academy by passing through this Shrek city. Even when Yu Hao entered, he saw a lot of technology in the form of soul tools, of which these were of the transport type. And the technology of the soul tools residing in this Shrek city was the second best in the Dulu continent after the Ryu Empire. Here, Yu Hao was astonished because he had never seen such advanced technology as soul tools back in the Duke's residence. And Bei Bei added that it was because of the war 4,000 years ago that Shrek Academy was able to have this status. At which time the Ryu continent from the west collided with the Dulo continent, and the Ryue Empire that was on the Ryu continent directly fought the Dulo continent. At the start of the war, the three allied kingdoms armed with Tang sect hidden weapons were defeated by the Ryu Empire's Soul Tools weapons. Hearing that, Tang Ya was slightly offended. Tang Ya said that if the Tang sect's secret weapon is not weak, because some of them could threaten a god. But Bei Bei added that it was the ancestors of the Tang sect, or Tang Zan, and the divine craftsman Luo Geo who could make such weapons. Bei Bei recounted that the allied forces of the Dulo continent at that time were in a state of crisis due to the messy gap in the strength of weapons and command. But it was at that critical moment that the former Dean of Shrek Academy appeared, who at that time managed to amass nearly 60 Dolo titles. So managed to turn things around and defeat the Ryu Empire. Since then, the Shrek Academy has stood alone and no longer belongs to any country. However, it was because of that war that the Tang sect's decline began. Yuhayo, who rarely saw soul tools back in the Xinglu Empire, questioned, are these soul tools really that powerful? Baby said that, believing that tools are not part of their own power, most soul masters refuse to use soul tools. Moreover, the three empires of the Dulo continent were highly respected countries. While walking towards the academy, Baby A also keeps telling us that soul tools is a technology that is driven by the power of the soul. Then Soul Tools also have a subversive effect on the Soul Master system. Baby explains that if Soul Power is something in the form of energy, then it is converted and released through Soul Tools, which is why Soul Power can be converted into various elements. Even a Soul Master with the Fire attribute could use the Soul Power of the Ice Element because of this tool, which made the ancient battle rules of a Soul Master with his own attribute rare. Even here, Yuhayo immediately understood all of Bebe's words when he accidentally saw someone light a match powered by soul power through his spiritual eyes, which turned out to be soul tools, can weaken the meaning of soul rings for soul masters. And right now, the people of the original Doluo continent are slowly starting to accept these soul tools, but the nobles still reject them. And the reason society was more receptive to those tools was because in this world, there weren't many soul masters and there were only plain people with weak soul power. 
and they just want to change their lives using soul tools that can turn soul force into driving force. Then it produces vehicles such as ships and planes that are sourced from energy through the power of the soul. Here, Yu Heo just understood why Tang Yao refused to use soul tools because Tang Yao was a leader of the Tang sect. But Yu Heo thought that if Tang's secret weapon was still possible, it could be combined with this soul tools technology. Long story short, when we arrived at the front yard of the academy, we saw seven statues lined up with the aura of the gods. Here, Baby tells them that in front of them is a statue of seven Shrek monsters that created the glory of Shrek Academy. The first is the God of War, Dawai Mubai. Seeing that Yuhayo realized that this Dea Mubai turned out to be the ancestor of the White Tiger aristocrats, including himself, but here Yuhayo tried to deny the fact. And the second is the Phoenix God named Mao Hongjun, as well as the food god Oscar. While on the left is the Tang ancestor's wife, Xiaowu. Then you see the god of speed, namely Zhu Zuking, who is the wife of the god of war, Dai Mubai. Next came a statue of the nine-colored goddess with the title of strongest support type soul master, Ning Rongrong, who was also the wife of the food god Oscar. And the statue in the middle is of the Tang sect ancestor, who was also a legendary figure who had become the Ashura god and the sea god named Tang San. Then Baby continued to introduce the next three statues, namely, the founders of Shrek Academy. In the middle is Baby A's ancestor, Master Xiao Gang, often known as Grand Master, who is one of the ten most important masters in the world of Soul Masters, having created the foundation for teaching the Martial Soul Department in Shriek Academy. Then, to the right of this Baby ancestor is Lu Erlong, who is Master Xiao Gang's wife. And the last person was Flender, the first Dean of Shrek Academy. And these three figures are also known as the Golden Iron Triangle. Here, the two of them kept bringing Yu Hao in, and they were at a crossroads of the Academy, where to their right was the Soul Engineering Division, and to their left was the Martial Soul Division. And these two divisions were Shrek Academy's main division, which was in the outer courtyard. The Shrek Academy is divided into two parts, namely Outer Disciples and Inner Disciples, and the outer student semester teaching time is six academic years. After it ended, Yu Hao could take the exam to become an inner disciple, which meant Shriek Academy's actual students were inner disciples. Then Bei Bei showed me the most beautiful scenery in the academy, namely the island of the sea god and the golden mountain tree. And this inner disciple area has always housed the most elite talents because Shriek Academy's quality has always remained unchanged in that it only accepts monsters or geniuses. While the outer disciples were expanded due to the requests of the three empires to be able to accept students recommended by the three empires, Tang Ye and Bei Bei were third year students in the outer disciples. And in the next few years, they would be taking the inner disciples entrance exam. Here, Yuheo was astonished because, with the strength of Tang Ye and Bei Bie, they still couldn't enter the Inner Disciples. And Bei Bei asks if the students in the Inner Disciples are one in a million geniuses that exist. Even Bei Bi had met a senior from the Inner Disciples. It turned out that he was able to enter the Exing Duo Forest alone, defeating a 1,000-year-old soul beast with his bare hands. Even he was able to bring the beast back to the Academy alive and it turned out to be a task that Fellow had gotten from the Academy for assessment. While in front of the Soul Engineering Division, there were three statues of the Legends of the Wind, Fire, Water, and Thunder Academy, which joined Shrek Academy back then. Here, Bebe also registered Yuhayo, and he immediately got a set of Class 1 Level 1 uniforms with his badge. And it turns out that Bebe has paid in full for Yuhai's first year, as well as for the years to come. Yu Hao had to rely on himself. Bei Bei also tells Yu Hao that the new school year will start in three days. Here, Tanya saw an old grandmother who looked vulgar and who usually taught three RD grade students. But in fact, now the grandmother is assigned to teach one Est graders. Bei Bei also said that there were only a few monster teachers at this academy. And the meanest thing was that the grandmother, whose name was Teacher Zhu, felt sorry for Yu Hao because he had to get the meanest teacher in his first year of entering the academy. Long story short, here Yu Hao, who was looking for his own room number 201, asked politely to an old man who was leaning casually in front of the academy door. 
Look at Yu Hao's manners. The person told me that room number 201 was in the first room on the 2N floor. Here, the grandfather was surprised because this polite young man like Yu Hao at Shrank Academy is now rare. After entering the room, you can see the beautiful interior equipped with soul tools. Because his roommate hadn't come yet, Yu Hao took the opportunity to train the Tang Sex mysterious heaven skill. Even after just a few days of practice, Yu Hao had already managed to activate the accumulation of meridians in his body. Because this technique is the greatest cultivation technique in the world. Even within his sea of consciousness, Tian Meng said that the skill was very suitable for Yu Hao. Even the purple demon eye technique was extremely suitable for Yu Hao's spiritual eye and martial soul. The two of them combined would definitely give Yu Hao a basic attack type soul skill. Even hearing that, Yu Hao was excited to train hard. Tian Meng also ordered Yu Hao to practice on his way now, and then Tian Meng took his leave to sleep again. And if Yu Hao had broken through to the point where he needed the second ring, then this Tian Meng would wake up again. Here, Yu Hao was confused about how he met this Tian Meng when he wanted to meet him, and Tian Meng tells Yu Hao in danger, which Yu Hao can't handle alone. Then Tian Meng will help him. And finally, Tian Meng suddenly fell asleep. When Yu Hao came to his senses, he also felt a hungry stomach and went to the academy's cafeteria, which looked so beautiful and was crowded with people. As Yu Hao only had a few silver coins, it was here that he realized he couldn't afford a proper dinner. But he remembered that Baby had said that the academy would give assignments to students regularly and then pay the students a hefty fee. Thus, Yu Hao wanted to take on the task after class started. It wasn't long before Yu Hao returned to his room and noticed that his roommate was already there. When Yu Hao was about to knock on the door, suddenly the door opened and Yu Hao saw Yu Hao's roommate with an elegant appearance like a woman. And she's actually Tang Wutong, the daughter of Tang Zong, who disguises herself as a boy and changes her name to Wang Dong. Yu Hao also tried to say that he was the roommate of the young man, but it looked like Wang Dong was so arrogant to see this Yu Hao. Here, Wang Dong suddenly gave Yu Hao five room rules that he made for him, which included not bringing other people into the room, not being naked in the room, not sleeping snoring, not disturbing, Wang Dong, and finally cleaning. Yu Hao's room must not touch Wang Dong's bed. And Wang Dong said if Yu Hao didn't follow him, he would beat Yu Hao up. Because Yu Hao didn't want to follow the room rules made by Wang Dong, even here they were sparring to find out whose words to listen to. Yu Hao immediately took out his soul ring, but it could be seen that Wang Dong didn't use any soul power at all, and the battle between the two youths immediately ensued. <laughs> but here, Yu Hao immediately used the power of his spiritual eye to be able to see Wang Dong's every move. Seeing that, Grandpa realized that Yu Hao was too weak despite being physically fit. Thanks to Yu Hao's spiritual eyes, he was able to dodge every attack from Wang Dong. He even used the Tang Sex moves to dodge Wang Dong's attack. But still, Yu Hao couldn't fight against Wang Dong and thought that he would definitely lose. <laughs> When Yu Hao fell, Yu Hao used the opportunity to use his spiritual technique given by Tian Meng, namely the Soul Shock attack, which immediately broke Wang Dong's mind. Long story short, after Yu Hao won the sparring, he couldn't agree to the five rules earlier and asked Wang Dong not to insult him, even though Yu Hao knew he would lose if Wang Dong seriously used soul power. Long story short, the next morning, the schedule starts with classes on the first day. When he entered the room in the classroom, he saw that there were 100 new students. Not long after, the door opened and an old woman with a white bun entered the classroom. And here she introduces his name, namely Zhu Yi, as their first grade teacher. Zhu Yi's teacher was so scary that it made all the students silent in the class. Here she said that she only wanted to raise a monster and trash wouldn't pass teacher Zhu's class exam. Here. Zhu's teacher also asked any students who had been fighting between students in the previous few days to stand up. However, out of the 100 disciples, 
Only Yu Hao and Wang Dong stood up. Teacher Zuyi also said that those who dare to face challenges are the strongest. Because out of all of them, only two had dared to fight beforehand. As a punishment, Teacher Zhu had all the students run 100 laps around Shriek Academy Square. And those who can't finish it will be expelled from the academy. Here, one can see a student who does not accept Zhu's decision. But here, she immediately took out his six soul rings, which consisted of two yellow, two purple, and two black, which immediately frightened all the students and immediately carried out Teacher Zhu's orders. While Yuhaio and Wang Dong, who were still in class, were ordered to come forward to the teacher and ask the two of them who they were fighting with and what the reason was for them fighting. Here Yu Hao firmly replied, if he fights with the person on his side, that is Wang Dong, who is his roommate because they have a small conflict. But here, Teacher Zhu instead answered, if fighting with roommates is the best thing that can make them grow together. But strangely, here, Teacher Zhu still told them both to run like the other students which made Wang Dong immediately protest. But still, this strict teacher decided that they should run 100 laps. Without saying much, Yu Hao immediately grabbed Wang Dong's hand to just follow the zoo teacher's instructions. Wang Dong also asked why Yu Hao pulled him when this teacher was so crazy in his opinion. But Yu Hao asked back if Wang Dong could beat teacher Zhu, and Yu Hao asked Wang Dong to just follow what Teacher Zhu said if he still wanted to stay at this Shriek Academy because Yu Hao felt that Teacher Zhu was very strict in his teaching. Long story short, after running the last lap, Wang Dong finally became the first person to reach the finish line, followed by several other students, including Xia Xia. Seeing Yu Hao at the very back, Wang Dong was also surprised. Because in the fight just now, he might lose against Yu Hao. But here, Yu Hao clenched his fists and determined that if he had to survive to complete 100 rounds. But when there were only a few laps left, Yu Hao was very weak and almost fell. Fortunately, Wang Dong immediately restrained him, and he immediately took out his butterfly wings, which looked very elegant. And it turned out that this martial soul, Wang Dong, was the butterfly goddess. Seeing the beauty of the butterfly wings, everyone here is fascinated because it has the most beautiful butterfly wings on the Dolu continent. And here Wang Dong intended to help Yu Hao by completing his round by being carried while flying. After that, Teacher Zhu called nine students' names and told them to pack their bags and leave, okay, not passing the exam. As it turned out, the nine people only turned 98 rounds and even cheated by doing the test by riding a bicycle. Here, a person named Taelong does not accept this, but Teacher Zhu says that Shriek Academy only cultivates monsters and warriors. Because if you only rely on strength but do not have good integrity, it will only bring disaster to any country. And here, this Zhu teacher expels the nine names of the people she mentioned earlier. And if they didn't accept it, then they could report this Zhu teacher to the Academic Affairs Office. Here too, Taelong asked, why didn't he expel Yu Hao as well? even though Yu Hao did not finish his run with the help of others. And Teacher Zhu answered, she didn't say that they couldn't help each other, which meant they could help each other. Here, the nine of them were finally expelled and did not return to the next class. Long story short, the next day, Zhu's teacher immediately started his class and immediately asked Yu Hao to stand up. Here, she asked Yu Hao's soul power level, and Yu Hao honestly said that he'd only reached level 11. Hearing that, Wang Dong looked very embarrassed because he could lose to someone who had only reached level 11. While the other students were surprised, why was Yu Hao able to enter the academy, even though the requirement to be able to join the Shrek Academy was that at least he had to be at level 15 of soul power? But Teacher Zhu immediately explained that this Yu Hao was a guest of the academy, that he was an invited student, and that he entered as an exception because of a ticket from the Tang Sect. But still, if this Yu Hao couldn't complete all of the tasks from Academic Shrek, he would also be eliminated and expelled. After Yu Hao returned to sit here, the students immediately started studying the lessons taught by Teacher Zhu, while Wang Dong was seen smiling at his roommate's persistence. After the bell rang, before closing class, Teacher Zhu announced that the physical fitness practice would start in the afternoon after this class was over. But before Yu Hao left the classroom, Zhu's teacher asked Yu Hao to come to his room after this, 